You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Boys and girls, how are you all doing today? Good, Pop Lewis. Okay. Don't say Lewis, that's a bad name. Melissa. I will talk about caring, and caring is like when you care about care about someone else, and you take care of them, like when you um, when you show them how to do things. That's good. Give her a hand, y'all. That's good, Alexia. Melissa. Who, who's next? Alexia. Um, what would you like to discuss? I would like to discuss about bullying. About bullying? Yeah. That's a good subject. You want to just talk a little bit about your definition of bullying? Um, but bullying is about that people be mean to other people, like um, tell them to give them their money and um, put them in, in their lockers and lock them up. Okay, okay. Who's next? Aaron. What would you like to discuss? I don't know. We can't answer anybody right now. Okay. You want to come back? We'll come back to you? Yes. Okay. Who's next? Trayvon. My, my name is Trayvon, and I'm going to be talking about respecting so respecting oh, is that. like respecting yourself and respecting a teacher and respecting your school and respecting your school property respecting is like yeah when you when you do something right and not bad each and every one of y'all came up with some good topics good subjects and i want to be honest with you all i'm very very happy you all came are y'all aware of that? Yes. And guess what? We're going to really define bullying. Because I want you all to understand bullying is very, very important discussion. It's something we really have to discuss. Because any time a person is uncomfortable in your presence, don't you know that's bullying? Yes. Say, say intimidation. Intimidation. Say uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Anytime a person is uncomfortable in your presence, don't you all know that's bullying? Yes. Watch this. You have different forms of bullying, but it's all considered bullying. Do you know if you're standing at a locker, young ladies, and another young lady walk by, and you roll your eyes at her, do you all know that's a form of bullying? Yes. yes. Do you all know why? Yes. yes. Why? I do. Why? It, it's because that's disrespectful and that's just showing bullying because when you roll your eyes, that's not just, you're just trying to be like mean to them or hurt their feelings. That's right. And guess what? Nobody has a right to hurt no one's feelings. Now watch this. Say facial expression. Facial, facial expression. expression. Bullying. When you roll your eyes at a person, those what you call facial expression and that makes the person feel intimidated when you suck your teeth or if you slam the locker or if you stomp your feet all those are a form of bullying because the person know those signs and signals and that makes them feel uncomfortable and they present and they feel intimidated now let me give you an example if I'm sitting at the front of the class right mm -hmm. my desk is at the front of the class and I get up to walk to the back of the class to sharpen my pencil and when I get up and walk, as I'm walking back to the pencil sharpener, and I kick your desk, Trayvon, while you're working, how did that make you feel? Make me feel sad, and it kind of interrupts me while I'm working. Did y'all hear that? Say that again, Trayvon. It makes me feel sad, and it interrupts me while I'm working. Do you know I don't have a right to make him feel sad or to make him feel uncomfortable when he's trying to work? Do y'all know that? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that bullying? Yes. Wasn't he honest about it? 
Yes. But watch this. When I come back from the pencil sharpener and I kick your desk, how did it make you feel again? Sad. Sad? And it makes you get a little angry. Makes you feel a little angry? Now watch this. The next day, the next day, when you all see me get up and start walking toward the back of the class, what do you expect me to do? You say sorry to him? Well, no. Do you expect me to kick and do something else? No. But guess what? Usually, when a person does that, that's their makeup. That's the way that person is. So now the whole class feels uncomfortable. So anytime they see me get back up from my desk, somebody's expecting me to kick their desk because that's what I normally do. You understand? Yes. But that makes the whole class feel uncomfortable. You understand it? Yes. Let me show you some principles, okay? Say, identify. Identify. Say, notify. Notify. And the teacher will rectify. And the teacher will rectify. Now watch this. First, you identify the bully. You understand it? Yes. But you don't take matters in your own hand. Once you identify the bully, then you notify the teacher. And guess what the teacher do? Rectify it. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. But don't take matters in your own hand because that makes the situation worse. Y'all understand that? Yes. It gets you in trouble too. Right. It gets you in trouble too. Exactly. Now say snitching. Snitching. Guess what? I know what that means. But guess what? Watch this. There is no such thing as snitching when you're helping one of your fellow students. You know what a fellow student means? Yes. What's, what's a fellow student? A fellow student is a, like, a, a good student. Yes, and there's another person that's in your class. He's like a role model. Role model? And a person sitting next to you. Where's your desk? Wherever your desk is, right? If yeah. there's a person sitting next to you or in front of you or behind you, or that's your fellow student. Or near you. Or near you. Anytime they're in the same classroom with you, that's your fellow student. So you're supposed to always be concerned about your fellow student. So that's not snitching because guess what? If you don't notify the teacher, the teacher can't rectify. So if you all don't notify the teacher about a bully, and say after school, that kid walks home, and three of the students that you know that's bullies jump on that kid, hurt the kid, and the kid go to the hospital and be in ICU. Say ICU. ICU. Do anybody know what ICU means? No. But guess what it means? Intensive care unit. Say it. Intensive care unit. That means a person is not expected to live. Now, wouldn't you all feel sad to know that you didn't tell a teacher about the bully, and after school, that student was walking home, and they got jumped on and got put in the hospital. How would you feel the next day? Sad. You'll feel sad because you said, if I would have uh. informed the teacher that there was a bully in the classroom, I could have prevented that fellow student from getting hurt. There's no such thing as snitching when you're helping somebody or you're preventing somebody to get hurt, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I want you all to be concerned about each and every person in the class or in the school. Y'all understand that, right? Yes. Nobody has a right to bully. Now watch this. That's facial expressions, right? Yeah. Yes. Now guess, guess what another form of bullying is? Say sound effects. Sound, sound effects. effects. Watch this. If a person take their desk, and slam their hand on their desk, move their chair real loud, right? Like yeah. on the floor. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Yes. yes. And that's another form of bullying, say sound effect. Sound, sound effect. effect. A person is being disruptive, showing you their anger, showing you what they're capable of doing. Oh. That's a form of bullying. And rude yes, also. Yes. It means like when you when you kick the desk and stuff, that means like you're showing off anger and then that disrespecting your school property and disrespecting your classmates because your classmates are trying to work and you're just you're just like making noise to try to annoy them, make them to get in trouble, but they just ignore it. You're absolutely right. And guess what the key guess what the most important thing you said? Guess what the most important thing you said out that whole situation? You know what the most important thing you said? Ignore it. That's awesome. Because guess what? When you ignore a situation, that's called management. 
Say management. Management. Say anger management now. Anger management. You are managing your anger and controlling your anger because guess what? You didn't respond. You didn't retaliate. Say retaliate. Retaliate. And you know what? Most people, instant reflex is to retaliate with anger also. But what you said was so important. You said ignore. It takes a strong person to do that. And this shows you a strong person. You know that? Yeah. To ignore. Because you're not letting matters get out of hand. You know that? Yeah. Get Trayvon a hand, y'all. <laughs> so what do we say the three principles are? Identify. Identify. Rectify. No, 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 notify. Notify. And the teacher will what? Rectify. Because we don't have any right to rectify a problem. But we have right to notify the teacher, right? Yes. After we identify the bully, right? Yes. Because that bully should be removed from the class, right? Yes. And people with authority like principals, counselors, and other teachers need to sit that bully down and talk to that bully, right? Yes. Right? Yes. And then they need to notify the bully's parents to let the parents know that your child is disrupting the class in the school, right? Yes. And nobody in the school, as far as you students, need to be intimidated or uncomfortable. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. So let's go over the principles one time. Ready? Mm -hmm. I identify, I notify, and teacher rectify. Oh, please say it one more time. I like that. Say it one more time. Go ahead. Identify, notify, and teacher rectify. And guess what that would, that would, you know what that would happen then? Guess what would happen then? What? You have a beautiful classroom. And guess what? Most of all, you know what you'll be? You'll be a role model class. Your behavior will show other classrooms this is how you conduct yourself. And guess what teachers will say? Teachers will say, you know that classroom, Trayvon, Alexia, and Melissa, and Aaron in? They'll say, that's a role model class. Look how they behave. Look how they get in line. They calm. They're not loud in the hallways. They respect the teachers. They respect each other. That's the way I want my class to be. They'll stop. Go ahead. You know when, when, like, when you be good, sometimes we could stay upstairs, and after we finish, we could stay upstairs and use a computer because we're good. That's, say privilege. Privilege. Say incentive. Incentive. You know what a privilege is? No. Okay, guess what? Oh, I know. Go ahead. What is it? What is it? So you, you get a, you get a, mm, Go ahead. Um, try it. You. Try it. You, um, Anybody want to help them? Uh, go um, ahead, go ahead, try it. Go ahead. Um, you have a, it's, it's go ahead. Like, hold on, hold on it's, one at a time. You get your chance. Go ahead. It's like it's when, when you, one at a time. Come on. You, one at a time. Go ahead. It's like when you, when you're like, um, when you're like, um, when you're like good and somebody like said you could answer. do. Like no, you go ahead. Could, finish it. Do it right, Trevon. Like go ahead. Stay up, like you could like say this like for. For example, say this, um, Melissa was good today and Miss Chow said she could stay after school until 5.50. Five. And, and do what? Stay after and, school and do what? And play the computer, like play the computer and then help Miss Chow with some papers and stuff. And Give that's her hand, y'all. Listen, I want you all to do just like Trayvon did. Take your time, think about what you want to say, and you'll get it out. It's just a matter of don't try to rush, take your time. You see how, he explained, see how he explained it? Yes. That's the definition of a privilege. The privilege was she was able to stay after school and go on the computer. That was an incentive and a privilege for their good behavior. So guess what? They're going to explain to other classes, they're going to say, that's a privileged class. They get a lot of privileges because of their good behavior. Good example, Trayvon. Anybody else want to set an example? Me? Go ahead. Um, like when someone is being kind okay. and when someone like be like when someone helps mm -hmm. and do things all right, yes, they can help the teacher and do all those stuff when they need help. Yes, that's a form of privilege too. That's a form of privilege. Would anybody else like to share? Um, Go ahead, take your time. What's, what's your definition of privilege? Um, they, if, um, 
Melissa, uh, Melissa and Trayvon um, helped other people. Uh, helped other people, and um, and helped the te helped the teacher, helped the teacher. They. Hmm. That's good. Give her a hand, y'all. What I want you all to understand is when you show good behavior, you get rewarded. You understand that? Yes. yes. As an incentive, teachers want to encourage you. So when you show good behavior and show the teacher that you respect the teacher, you respect your classmate, the teacher don't mind doing nice things for you. You understand that, right? Yes. yes. So guess what? For your parents bringing you all here this evening, your parents might have took off from work early, or they might have other little brothers and sisters at home. You all each getting a home time buffet meal pass to go eat tomorrow. Or you can eat buffet. Or now. Yeah. Well, it might be closed by the time you get off today, but and you all get to go in there and show good mannerism, etiquette, how to conduct yourself. When you conduct yourself good, show good behavior, show respect to the teachers, and respect one another most of all, you get privileges. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. Rewarded for your good behavior. But guess what? It helps you out in the long run. Because always remember this. Always remember this, you all. When you're disruptive in the class, you're only hurting nobody but yourself because you're missing out on your lesson. The time and energy you spend to be disruptive in the class, that's the time you're supposed to be focusing on your subject. Because you don't want to get to the point older later on in life, right? and can't read menus in the restaurant, can't read signs, and it's because people neglected their learning ability when they were young. So I want you all to get all the education you can get now, pay attention to the teacher, and don't be ashamed to say you don't know how to do something. Always inform the teacher you might be having problems with your reading skills, your math, your English. Do not be ashamed to inform the teacher you need help. Y'all understand? Yes. Because it pays off later on in life. Y'all understand that too, right? Yes. yes. And each and every one of y'all good students, that's why you're part of the program. You all was handpicked because the teacher informed me I have six students that's been doing exceptionally well, and every time I come into class, y'all show me good leadership, right? Yes. So it's a privilege for y'all to be here on Mr. Pop's neighborhood, right? Yes. yes. Now guess what? I'm going to talk to y'all's parents later on and we're going to go out and help, say, homeless. Homeless. You know, you know you have some homeless people in this town? Yeah, I know. Yes. And a lot of them time they can't help themselves? Yeah, they yes. like live on the street. Right? And you know it's winter time, correct? Yes. So I have people who donated coats to us. And we're going to go out and hand out coats to the homeless. Would you all like to do that? Yes. Doesn't that show Karen? Yes. Doesn't it show love? Yes. Doesn't it show consideration? Yes. yes. Say love is not a word, it's an action. Say that. Love is not a word, it's an action. You display it, right? Yes. Not just yes. say it, right? Yes. Less conversation, more demonstration. We're going to go out there and hand out coats, winter coats. We're going to hand out clothes. Y'all understand that? Yes. And we're going to show them that we care, right? Yes. yes. Do any of y'all got any comments? Anything y'all would like to say about caring? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, when you care for somebody, that's like you care for them, and that's like showing like loyalty and respect. And yes. then you like, that means like, like you're being respectful of your manners of passing out the coats. That's right. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. When, I, when they respect, when they respect other people, and when you like share something with them, yes, and give them stuff, yes. When they don't need, when they want something, um, if they want to ask someone, they give it to them so they can borrow it. Yes, that's a form of caring, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Sharing, right? Yes. yes. And, being, and giving, right? Yes. yes. Because those people can't help themselves, right? Yes. So we try to assist them by helping them, correct? Yes. 
Yes. yes. Isn't that what the world needs? Yes. yes. Wouldn't it be a better world if we could help everybody we can? Yes. And everybody help one another? Yes. yes. Right? Yes. And what it's showing? It's showing that you all are young people, but you all are young people who cares. We don't want society to always think that young people out there doing wrong, or young people out there and all involved in negativity activities. You understand that, right? Yes. We want people to know we have some young people that's interested in life, want to make something out of themselves, and want to be something in life, correct? Yes. That's what we display in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, right? Yes. Respecting one another, no bullying, accepting authority, and most of all, expect, respecting your parents. Don't you know that's important too? Yes. Why is it important to respect your parents? Because, because they do one things, at a time. Go ahead. They do things so nice to you, and you won't like to do mean things to your parents. They train you in the house so when you leave home you know how to behave and it makes them feel good for another adult to come up and say, I saw your child today, your child is highly respected. I wish my child was like that. As a matter of fact, your child is going to be a role model to my child. You understand? Yes. yes. Parents love to hear good things about their children. And guess what? When you all get older and you train your children how to show good behavior, you're going to feel good about your children too. You all understand? Yes. yes. And they might become role models. Say it loud. They might become role models. You're exactly right. Well, I want to thank you all for coming to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. And I understand that you all took time out of your life to come here. Did y'all get anything out of it? Yes. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. It's all good. Yo, Ruger. What's up, Pop? Let the kids know number one is educational and the rap game is recreational. All right. Show them what you got. Yeah. Ruger Belly. Off of W. Yup. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books and listen to this hook. Yeah, yo, I felt my life was cut short Till I met this man, her name popped up a juvenile court He sat me down, he started when he was eight When he was the class clown Yup, and then he started telling me That he must confess When he was eight, it was called DCYF He told me that how to be at my best Now that I'm up in DCF he told me don't get involved up in gang turf Till I met this great social worker named Mr. Duckworth He told me to listen to pop because you're going through a phase Yeah, and then I met this great worker named Sabrina Dougie Hayes Then pop showed me about the boss named Mr. Albert Johnson The supervisor, give him a lobster for appetizer Yeah, and first thing I learned is watch out for so-called friends Cause they the one that turn on you, get you locked in the pen when I spent my time up at NYI, my cellmate was game banging, I was writing my rhyme. My friend was a pad in the pen, I was trying to figure out how to correct what would got me in. Now it's about education and graduation, finishing school will be my great celebration. Young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Yeah, I said, young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Google Valley, Papa Dot Records. You already know what it is. What up, J Bug? I see you. Much love. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dream, follow your dreams. Achieve your goals, achieve your goals. Ain't relate to me, ain't relate to me. I do this for the kids. So finish school and pump your mind full of knowledge like an inner tool. And graduated, go to college, what I'm giving you. Streets trying to give you gang violence, drug dealing too. 
Listen up to me, kids, don't let it get into you. All I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you. You can even ask my mental pop, the streets is pitiful. He's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you. Don't sell drugs or in the streets claiming sex. Be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated, young and very bravest. Do something with your life, I know you can make it. Your brain and memory card, I know you can save it. I just want to say big ups to my cousin David. We a powerful movement. We the world's greatest. We a powerful movement. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dream, follow your dream. Achieve the code, achieve the code. And relate to me, and relate to young people. Go to school, go to school. Follow your dream. Follow your trees, the cheese it goes, the cheese it goes, it relates to me, it relates to me, yeah. Ruga Valley, it's best to for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah. Ready for whatever came to wake up your brain. My flow so insane. Every time I spit, money on my mind, but to leave, I'ma get a little bit of shine in the all way fit it. My team stand tall while you looking like a midget. I don't think you get it, I don't think you get it. Hold up, watch the crowd go wild when I roll up. Look at Valley Cash, you so I go nuts. Every time I spit, you know us. Every time I spit, so everybody know us. You like to talk about guns, the little homie, so up. Talk a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Talk a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do. All for W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do, came to take it over, now we entertaining you, ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do, all for W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do, came to take it over, now we entertaining you. Rugavel is the illest rap. Stop all the bullying in the game, violence and chitter and chat. Best believe I'm spitting that flow that you could listen to. Hear it in your ear, I spit balls, I'm the sickest dude. Catch me on the avenue, yeah, but really trying to stop the violence. Trying to get the education so you can get knowledge. Go to the college and do it right, cause the flow is so sick and I rap all day and night. Ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do All for W, music you could listen to So everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do Came to take it over, now we entertaining you Ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do All for W, music you could listen to So everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do Came to take it over, now we entertaining you Yeah Google Val, R4W, ready for whatever. You dig?